Tube services, tube washers, eBay and YouTube. What we're looking at, this is the second phase to the fuel pumps, different types and fuel pumps and everything else. Now this is a very simple, straightforward wiring system. Most of the systems, obviously, they run with a 24 volt solenoid, which we'll see here. So solenoid is 24 volt. This can be put into most systems, any system, to be quite honest. I've also got here a flow switch, and that's where the water runs. So you'll see on there, you've got an arrow in the direction. That is the out port, and that is the in. So the water would automatically come from the pump through this port here, and out of there when water's flowing. Let go of the trigger, that water automatically stops. So that system then is not giving a reading to this read switch. We set up a simple system here, and like I say, all protected. We've got 240 volt going to a step down transformer. We've then got 24 volts coming out the other side of the system. So it's lowering the voltage down to 24 volt for the solenoid itself. It's also then going through the thermostat to a floor switch. Now sometimes you'll have more than just a floor switch, you might have a pressure switch in the system as well. So we've got 240 volt coming in. That would go through a switch that's operating the, the actual step down transformer. As you turn it on to hot, it would then lower the voltage to 24 volt. At the moment it's turned on, so we've got the, the brown wire here which is live and that is protecting with a fusing line fuse that protects the step down transformer. And then got the neutral on that side going to zero on the step down transformer. Then coming out the other side, this could also possibly have a switch in the system as well. We've got fuse protection protecting the 24 volt circuit. And what we're doing is coming through this side, we're then running through to the thermostat. Thermostat's turned on and off will operate the temperature of what temperature you're working at. So you'll see that is off. Turn it on to on, you'll hear it click. We've then got the circuit, that 240 volt comes in, or in, in 24 volt comes into the circuit, 24 volt comes out of the circuit. It then runs through the floor switch, so like we just shown before, you've got 24 volt going into it, 24 volt coming back out of it, and that then goes to the actual fuel solenoid. So if we press push this in now, what you'll find is the magnetizing on the coil pulls it in. So if we keep that pulled in, so if we hold that in, you'll see it click in. You'll hear the noise. Now if we let go, so what's that simply happening is on this side, this is why it goes on to your fuel pump. It's then pulling it in to send power up to the top of the burner. Now also inside there is a little spring. So if we look inside you'll find a spring that makes it return every time. So you can take that out like I said in the other video. And what you do is bypass all this circuit. So it wouldn't matter whether the thermostat is working and everything else. Mainly in a cache when you pull a cache trigger automatically the system itself the blow motor starts to run so the fuel pump will be running and what you do is by taking that out you'd bypass the thermostat the floor switch and everything else and it'd be burning all the time so it means you've got no safety protection whatsoever and this is like I say a simple straightforward circuit that you can use on any pressure washer whatsoever it's a 240 volt stepping it down to 24 volt if you want to but it should really be done that way inline fuses to protect all the circuit we then have the live going into the thermostat, out of the thermostat, through the floor switch, out of the floor switch, to the fuel solenoid and back to neutral. And it's as simple as that and that will operate any circuit in the marketplace on pressure washers. Thank you very much Q services, Q washers, eBay and YouTube.